So I'm very pleased to be here this evening, and um, I walked out, and as you know, fate would have it, I left my notes on my desk. So, but this is something that I'm very passionate about, and could speak probably for several hours on um, the work that's been done. And so, um, bear with us because uh, we have to take about three years worth of work and put it in the next 20 minutes. And so, um, it's going to be a really high-level um, overview of the work that's been going on in the eastern uh, part of the district. So I came into this position about uh, two and a half years ago, and, and one of the first charges was in the eastern area was to then to begin to look at some of the performance of our schools. And in and Nightdale High School in particular uh, had an audit done a previous year before I had come uh, on board, and there were obviously some concerns noted there. And there also had been um, some work done in the community by um, some groups of parents and community members in the group um, called the Nightdale 100 prior to uh, coming on board. And so within about two months into the position, um, we decided to um, just take a really deep grassroots look at the work in the Nightdale area and see what we could do with this. Because um, I truly believe if you build partnerships with lots of folks, then you can do anything. And I will say that this has been collaborative, and I will tell you from the beginning, there was not a grand plan to go out and how we were gonna address the concerns in the community. We started and we sort of uh, had an idea of what we wanted to do with the meetings, and then we just sort of let it evolve from meeting to meeting and let the process grow. And in fact, a lot of the partners we have along the way were partners, people that we just met and said, you know what, they're, they're innovative thinkers. Let's, let's see what we, can, what we can do together. How can we bring people on board? And so that's what we did. So this began with uh, what we call the Nightdale Area Education Work Group from when I came on board. And there was some um, previous work in, in the area. But I also think that there was some bold leadership from um, our district, from the superintendent and from the board, um, because we were given some latitude to do some things that, you know, maybe not um, is always um, out there. And I have to say we had a lot of support. So the first thing we did was just to bring a group of parents, community members, teachers, principals, um, clergy, elected officials, uh, school board members all together to sort of start this process of a community forum. And it was a lot of work. We presented a lot of data. And really, the first meeting was the only planned meeting by us, the school system. We sort of had some data planned that we were going to bring and share, and we always had facilitated work sessions, so it was never sit and get. It was always facilitated with the groups, and we showed a lot of data. And then we would sort of plan, what's the next meeting going to be like? What information would you like to see? And, um, oh yeah, there's a slide up there, so I guess I could follow that to make sure I um, could stay, stay focused. So um, the, it was organic. Again, we would sort of plan, then we would finish one meeting, we would get the feedback, and then we would go and say, okay, we've got to plan for the next meeting. What information does the group want? How do we facilitate? And how do we um, move forward? And, and it was grueling. We met for um, the initial phase was for about eight months. We met twice a month um, for eight months, um, two and a half to three hours each meeting. So it was a long time commitment. And one of the first things that we said in our first meeting together, this is something that is going to take a while. We're going to work on this for at least five to seven years, this problem will not be fixed overnight. We're not going to meet one time and then walk away and, and, and hope something comes out of it. And so it really is a five to seven year process. And we're now in about year two um, and year one with the actual work happening at the school. So it was very organic. And, and basically what came out of that was um, lots of discussions. And, and I'll have to say it was transparent. It was honest. They were not always easy discussions. There were some very difficult um, conversations that had to be um, had about performance and about perceptions of you know school and community folks and the work that we were doing together. And also there had to be trust built. There had to be some barriers brought down that we really were in this together and we really wanted to be collaborative and we could make a change if we wanted to do this together and move forward. And so we did. And so um, out of this came um, this idea to redesign the high school. 
And what's really cool about it is the redesign at the high school really started from this grassroots effort. Um, the Nightdale Area Education Work Group put together a uh, set of recommendations that then went to the school board. And many of the recommendations uh, eventually then made it into the strategic, the superintendent's strategic plan for the district, again, because of all the community work. And so this plan then was kind of what the community wanted in a world-class education in their schools. And so then when we went to the school, it was okay, we're gonna take this information and start to do some, some work at the school and, and make it organic. And so one of the first things that we did at the school was with our principal, Dr. Argent, was then start to decide, how does this look? We have to plan it. And again, it, it started from the school. The school worked on the planning. They did lots of research. They took the recommendations and then began researching what can we do that's innovative and significantly different that impacts, and this is what's really neat about it, all kids. We didn't want to create a, a, a school that has a small academy of 400 kids, and then the other thousand kids in the school just get, you know, the status quo high school. We were really um, um, strategic about this has to be for all kids, and how can we do something innovative for 1,200 1,500 kids in a high school and not just a small segment of the population. So they started a design team that met for over a year, and this was with the current faculty um, at the school. They met for over a year working on a, a design of the direction that they were going to go, and he's going to talk about that. But here's where I think our school board and our superintendent was innovative with the latitude. With this design, there was also um, money came with that. Um, they gave us some money to um, work with the east, with the eastern um, area, the Nightdale area group of about $150,000 to facilitate some of our work. But then we also created a business case of a, close to a million dollars to do some things at the school. One of the things that we knew was very important is we had to build professional development into the program. And so um, they were bold in allowing us to create a plan that then lets the um, professional development be built in. So we had requested instead of teachers being 10 month employees, we need all teachers to be 11 month employees so we can build their professional development in to the training that we're going to do if we're going to do a redesign. And so that was bold. They also allowed us to hire some new teachers. There was money for some renovation around the school and, and some more work that I'll let Jim talk about. But I, I think that um, the, the other key that was, that's really um, special is that, you know, we didn't go in and say, okay, we've got to get rid of the staff and start over. The staff had an opportunity to buy into this or not. Um, in fact, when we went in, they had the opportunity to buy into the design of the school. So Dr. Argent was at the school for a year before any work began. And so he got to work with all of the teachers in the school and they all got to work with him. And then at the end of the year came the process of now everybody has to reapply if they want to reapply for the position in the school and you know kind of what the model is going to be. So it wasn't just we've got to throw out everything that's been here before and start over. Again, we tried to be very um, collaborative with that. And so um, the key to this is collaboration. And, and as I said, I could talk uh, a long time on this, uh, but I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Argent. And then if you have any specific questions, maybe we'll be able to um, answer that. But it has been, for me, one of the most rewarding experiences professionally to be a part of uh, the Nightdale group. I get emotional when I talk about them because it's, um, it's been such a great experience working with that, um, with that town and, and the people there and the school. And um, we're really proud of the work. So I'll turn it over to Dr. Dr. Argent. 